bragging. Alabama player just lied. He's full of SHT. An Alabama running back just humiliated himself when he was entering the game and yelled an obscenity about President Trump. Then his team won the game in overtime against Georgia, giving him a temporary sigh of relief that he didn't suffer the Trump curse. And now here we are back to square one, and the player's humiliation continues. Running back Bo Scarborough walked through the tunnel and yelled FCK Trump and people called him out on it over social media. People posted the video of him saying it. People watched, listened, and heard the words uttered from his mouth as he was about to square off against Georgia. Now he denies it. Not only was FCK Trump immature, but it also had no meaning to the game, no reason to be said. Again, players turning sports into politics is nothing less than inappropriate and annoying to most who simply enjoy a good football game. To make matters worse, he straight up lied on Twitter as he denied it. Maybe Scarborough was disappointed in himself for saying it. Maybe he knows it looks terrible to NFL teams that he may try to get on. Perhaps he's embarrassed by it. Maybe he knows it was completely pointless. However, he should have owned it instead of denying it. The video we have shows the players walking out and just about all of social media claim it was him. You'll have to zoom in to see if you can pinpoint the spot where his mouth moves and he says it. The funny thing about him denying it is that he claims he said FCK Georgia and that's not even close. This was apparently his admission to guilt and a weak attempt at covering it up by claiming he said something else. Let's watch the video courtesy of Twitter. Listen closely. He says FCK Trump. It sounds like two syllables. If Scarbrow said FCK Georgia, then we would hear three syllables in the exclamation. I hear two. I tried very hard to hear Georgia, but I was unable to. I couldn't hear any chance of a third syllable, so there's no possible way that Scarbrow said Georgia. He has to be telling a lie. He loses respect because he should have owned it like a man, but he's acting like OMG I didn't say that. I watched and listened. It sounds like FCK Trump not FCK Georgia. Can't hide it. Daily Mail reported. Alabama running back Bo Scarborough has denied yelling F Trump while walking in the tunnel ahead of Monday night's national championship game against Georgia. Scarborough, 21, has claimed he yelled F Georgia after video of the exclamation was uploaded to Twitter and several people accused him of attacking President Donald Trump. The junior from Northport, Alabama, denied slamming Trump after the Crimson Tide beat the Georgia Bulldogs 26-23 in a dramatic overtime finish to the college football playoff national championship game. Ahead of the game, both football teams were kept in their locker rooms as Trump walked onto Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta for the Star-Spangled Banner. Following the national anthem, Alabama's football team was filmed walking through the tunnel to the field in preparation for the game. Footage of the walk was uploaded to Twitter by Sporting News accusing Scarborough, no 9, of yelling F Trump. Here is the player defending himself and telling what most people consider a lie. We saved a screenshot just in case he deletes it. Some Twitter replies were classics. There are a few ways to think about this player and his choice of words. Let's talk about the freedom of speech. He's entirely free to voice his opinion and say whatever he wants. His words are his choice. He can say anything, but he needs to remember that words sometimes come with consequences. There are not many consequences to this, but the player is undoubtedly facing some social media backlash. If he can handle that, then good for him. He can own his words and walk away with his head up knowing he can at least stand up for himself. Him denying it just makes him appear to be weak, and that loses respect. Bringing politics into football is something that most fans are tired of and contributed to the dwindling NFL ratings. It's not smart to bring politics into sports because it turns people away from the game. The other aspect to this is what if a white football player said FCK Obama before a game? Would it be considered a hate crime? Would the player be called racist? The outcome would be much different if the races were reversed. The bottom line with this is that athletes and entertainers who bring politics into sports are the people solely responsible for ruining the game, ratings, and dividing our great country. Bo Scarbrow, I'm calling you out.
If you say it, then own it. You can run from a defender, but not from social media. Media.